I'm from the hood, nigga, I will bag you. Yeah. Back three, back three, back four. Yes, man, it really is me. Mizu, aka the <clears throat> shit, what? The lemon pepper wings, my nigga. You already know it's the instant burner, man. My fault. But yo, I got a new video for y'all, man. Appreciate y'all for looking at my best defensive settings, man. A lot of y'all been asking for the best offensive settings on this game. So today, bro, I'm gonna give y'all the best offensive settings and pretty much a breakdown of what all these offensive settings mean. Because if you don't know what what they mean, bro, they are, they can, they can get a little confusing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna help you guys out. But before we get started, hey man, what y'all think, bro? Fuck y'all for, for being in my stream, bro, and y'all talking shit about, about my last fit, my nigga. Talking about I need to change my fit. So I finally changed my fit. Y'all let me know what y'all think about my white mamba fit, man. Woo! What y'all think about it, bro? Rated 1 to 10, man. 1 being trash, 10 being it's that shit. You know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comment section. But uh, let's get into this video, man. We're going to go into the offensive settings. Y'all already know, hit that like. Make sure to hit that subscribe, bro, because you already know, man. I'm one of the best 2K niggas. 2K YouTube niggas out here, bro. No cap, my nigga. But uh, let's go to the controller, bro. First, man, we're going to talk about the dual, dual shot wireless controller speaker. I mean, this doesn't really matter. It's a personal preference. I turn my shit off. You know what I'm saying? I like to turn mine off. Um, vibration, I turn this off too. The reason I do, man, because the vibration in this game is inconsistent. The vibration is supposed to be used to let you know when to let go of the stick, you know what I'm saying, when you're shooting and stuff like that. But, man, it's a lag, bro. It's a it's a big lag. And me personally, bro, I make more shots when I have this off. So I turn this off too. But like I said, that, that's, a, that's a personal preference, you know what I'm saying. The next thing is your pro stick function. If you don't know what the pro stick is, the pro stick is pretty much your right stick. You know what I'm saying? So this would be your right stick function. Do you want it to be default, dribble moves, or shots? You know what I'm saying? I seen a um a survey on, on Twitter or whatever. Mike Wayne asked, what do you use the pro stick for? A lot of y'all niggas said dribble. Most of the people said dribble moves. Bro, no. Y'all need to not. Don't do that, bro. Don't put this on dribble moves. The reason is, bro, if you put this on dribble moves, you, you're pretty much, when you lay the ball up, you're putting it in 2K's hands. You know what I'm saying? You want to have full control of your layups, whether you want to lay it up to your left, to your right. You want to do a floater, reverse. Don't put this on dribble moves, bro, because you're you going to get your shit smacked when you go to the rim. You know what I'm saying? And don't put it on shots because you got to you gotta be able to dribble. We all know that. So put, keep this on default, bro. The next thing is your pro stick orientation. That's pretty much how do how do you want to move? How do you want to move with your pro stick? You know what I'm saying? You can put it on camera relative or you can put it on absolute. Camera rel I mean absolute is pretty much do you want your butt do you want your right stick um direction to be the same all over the court? So if you're on the left side of the court, do you want left to be left, right to be right, up to be up versus on the right side of the court, do you want it to be the same? You know what I'm saying? Pretty much I will keep this on absolute just because well, when it comes to layups, you know what I'm saying? If you have this on camera relative, let's say you, you let's say you go into the paint for for a floater. If you have this on absolute, the floater is going to be down on your right stick. If you have this on camera relative, let's say you are let's say you're on the right side of the court. You've been on the right side of the court, it's going to be diagonal down, you know what I'm saying, to the right. If you're on the left side of the court, it's going to be diagonal down to the left. But if you got it on absolute, it's going to be down everywhere on the court, it's just going to be down. You know what I'm saying? It makes life a lot easier. Versus if you're going to the baseline, all you got to do is flick flick your right stick. If you got this on absolute, flick your right stick towards the baseline, reverse. If you got this on camera relative, it's going to be totally different depending on where you take off from on the court. So make your life easier, bro, and just put this on absolute. Even if you're not a dribbler, because some of y'all be like, bro, I don't really use it because I don't dribble. It's more than just for dribbling. Versus, and it also works for when you're dunking, whether you want to dunk with your left hand, your right hand. If you got this on dribble moves, you can't pick. If you got this right here on dribble moves, you can't pick which hand you dunk with. You can't, you can't fit, you can't pick if you want to do a float, if you want to do a reverse, all that. You know what I'm saying? So this needs to be default. This needs to be absolute. Um, let's see what else. You need to have your player icons. You already know this needs to be on at all times. You need to have your skip pass on. Um, when it comes to your pro stick pass type, you need to pretty much have this. You need to keep this on normal. You don't want to put this on flashy. You don't want to be 
you don't want to be flashy passing every pass on the park because if you already know a lot of them flashy passes get deflected you know what i'm saying and when you got this on you can't when you got flashy on you can't make those type of passes where he passes it around somebody's body you're gonna pass it straight into his body so you need to have this on normal because you can do a flashy pass when you want to anyway all you gotta do is tap o twice you know what i'm saying so you can do a flashy pass when you want to so keep this on normal icon passing needs to be default um this right here needs to be full control. You want to have full control when you when you're passing or whatever. We're not doing defense, but I did make a video on defense. Like I said, y'all can check that out later. Uh, who the guard without doing all this today? Um, the next one is your pass target profile. We have three things right here. I'm gonna go through all three of them, but let me give y'all some advice. When it comes to passing, I know it's going to be hard. I know it's going to be new to a lot of y'all, but you need to. You need to get in the habit of iconing all of your passes, bro, because you don't want to put your passes, bro, in the hands of 2K because we've all had that, ha had it, had it happen where you'd be like, bro, I wasn't trying to pass to you. I was trying to pass to so-and-so, you know what I'm saying? But if you would have iconed that pass, you would have passed it to you who you wanted to pass it to. You know what I'm saying? So you want to get in the habit of doing this. I'm not going to lie. It is hard at first because when this game first came out, bro, I used to just pass the ball, you know what I'm saying? Then I realized real quick that the passing system in this game is ass. So I started passing with the icon stick or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Because, man, it just makes life a lot easier, bro. You get you get way more, more assists, you know what I'm saying? And it's more and it's more accurate, you know what I'm saying? But just in case you just cannot do that, bro, let's go ahead and go through these, man. The first one is your pass target direction. This pretty much means when you're, pa when you're passing the ball, your pass target direction is pretty much where where do you have the left stick pointing? Let's, let's say somebody's at the top of the key. If you wanted to pass to somebody at the top of the key, you would push this you will push this top you will push this left stick towards that player then press x if you wanted this up you know what i'm saying if you want this to be heavy you know what i'm saying if you don't want it to be heavy you will push it down so if you want it to lean a lot on pass target direction you would just put this up the next one is the pass target defense if you want to pass to the closest guy you would push this down if you want to pass to the closest guy if you wanted to make the skip pass or the furthest guy you would just push this this way to the right you know what i'm saying the next one is the pass target opening. This pretty much means do you want 2K to find the open guy for you? And the question is, fuck no. You don't want 2K to find the open guy, but if you want to try it, you know what I'm saying? If you wanted to pass to find the open guy, you would just push this up. I would I wouldn't do it though, chat. YouTube, I would not do this shit. You know what I'm saying? I used to do it on 2K17 and the shit was okay. It worked a little bit, but you still it's not as good. None of these are as good as icon passing. None of these. You know what I'm saying? But if I had to pick one, bro, I would have this one up the most. This is this is the most accurate on this game. Having a pass target direction if you can get in the habit of pushing that left stick towards where you need to go. But like I said, I don't I don't use the shit. You know what I'm saying? I put this on default because I do not really use it. But um, but like I said, man, y'all make sure to check out my defensive video. It should be on the box on your left if you want to check out something random go ahead and pick on that box on your right and don't forget to subscribe and y'all already know who this is it is your boy me